Hey, what's going on guys? Hopefully this isn't too close to the camera, like the seat and everything, but this isn't, this video is actually not going to be a reaction. This is a little bit of a, a different thing I came up with. So since it's the end of 2019, 2020 is fast approaching, I figured I would make a little video of my top three, I guess, wishes you could call it for the new year music wise. So I have three things that I came up with just real quick that first came to mind that I thought I'd really like to see this or and some of them are things for me to do in 2020 music wise that I want to do and focus on. So I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm going to try not to ramble on too much, but I just wanted to kind of get a video out and uh, explain what I want to see in 2020 and maybe you guys can uh, you know let me know what you guys want to see and everything and that would be that'd be great so the first thing I want to see probably the number th number one thing I want for 2020 is I want to see Ask Alexandria come out with a new album they did they haven't came out with one since I believe it was 2017 so it'll have been you know two and a half three ish years by the time it's next year so even though they've progressively gotten less heavy, which obviously I like their early stuff. I've listened to most of their songs, if not all their songs, off of all of their albums. And I like their earlier stuff better, I would say. But off of the last album, there were a few that I did like, even though they were more poppy, I guess you could call it, or it wasn't as heavy for sure. I did like the songs. And I, I guess I'd, be, I'd really be interested to see what they come out with. The last song they released was The Violence, and for what it was, it wasn't that heavy, it was more of an alternative rock, which isn't terrible, but for what it was, I actually did like The Violence. Um, but like I said, obviously I liked their heavier stuff before, but I'm not expecting a, a heavy album like the past. It, it's kind of the same thing with what Bring Me The Horizon did. Is I'm not expecting something super heavy out of them, but I still want to see where they where they decide to go and I feel like it's been a while since they released something they released some a, a single back in uh, June or July I can't remember which one it was it was one of those two days but I, I want to see Asking Alexandria release an album because they're one of my favorite bands and regardless of what they do regardless of what direction they go I'm still gonna give it a listen because I really do think they're really talented Danny's a really good vocalist I really like Danny I like the whole band um, so I'd just be really excited to see where they would go and what they would do. So number one thing I want to see in 2020 is Ask Alexandria with a new album. I think it's about time. We'll see. I don't know. Hopefully they do. I'd be really disappointed if they didn't and it got to this time next year and they still haven't released an album. I'd be, I'd be really mad. But So the next two things are actually not related to other bands, but they're things that I want to do. So number two was I want to make sure, I had to think, stop and think about it for a second, but number two is I want to make sure that I listen to albums all the way through. So I have an issue, a problem with, I'll listen to the first couple singles that come out, and then I'll listen to maybe some of the songs off of the album when, it, when the whole thing comes out, but for whatever reason, I don't listen to the whole thing, and that's the only, the last album I listened to from start to finish was We Are Not Your Kind by Slipknot. I listened to the whole thing on that, but other than that, I can't even think of the last album I listened to start to finish all the way through. And th and that's, I, I just, I don't like that at all. And I don't know why I do that, but I just, I need to go out and listen to all the songs because even if this song isn't super popular, even if, you know, it's not one of their big time songs off the album, it still could be something that I like just because maybe the majority of people, I wouldn't say don't like it, but it's not as popular as some of their other ones, but I still could like it, and it could end up one, being one of my favorite songs off the album. So I need to, to do that. Just the, the first one that comes to mind was Motionless in White Disguise. I listened to about half of it, but for whatever reason, I didn't listen to the whole thing, and I, I don't know why. It's just, it's not, I, I don't like that at all. So. For 2020, when a band comes out with an album, I'll be listening to it from start to finish, especially if it's a band that I, I know and I've listened to and is fairly m mainstream. But, so, right. So, the goal is to listen to the album all the way through, every song, every second, 
so that I can get a feel of what the album is and get a better opinion on the album as a whole instead of just listening to the songs that are really good. So that's number two. Number three, the final one, this is just kind of a another thing that I'd like to do uh, if, if I can, is I would like to go to more concerts, more, more, con yeah, more concerts in general. Last year, well, it was March of 2019, it was this year, I went to a Metallica concert, and it was awesome, it was a great time, half the entertainment is the people in the crowd, it was great, they were energetic, it was a good time, we had, you know, decent enough seats, we could see, we could hear, of course, it was loud, it, I had a great time, I went with one of my friends, we had a great time, I'm, I'm very glad that I decided to go to that, but I need to go to more concerts, to check out more concerts, because... They, they really are so fun. Even if there's a lot of people, even if it's kind of expensive, I feel like it's it's an experience that you can't pass by, especially if that band isn't touring for a while or they're going to Europe or something or, or Asia or and they're not going to be in the States or, or around where I live. So I feel like I need to take advantage of that when I can. The problem is, you know, I'm not that rich. I don't have a ton of money. Um, but I got to invest it, invest it in stuff that I will enjoy doing and stuff that, that needs to be invested in so I'm trying to look around uh, I have an app that, that tells me you know when bands like their tour dates and stuff so I'm trying to find some some shows that I might possibly have a chance to go to obviously I could have something going on that I wouldn't know about but I have a few dates in mind a few concerts in mind if if I end up going I'll probably record it uh, so you guys can see it and maybe upload it here if it was if it's good enough to upload but I got to get around to doing that I feel I feel like it's about time that I start going to concerts and I have probably three or four in mind and two of them are music festivals where like big time bands will be there like a lot of bands will be there and they're they're pretty big and they're bands that I like but that those 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 festivals are I think one's in May and one's in like September, so that's a long way. That's a long way away, and a lot can happen between then. So I don't know, you know, what'll be going on, but I really do want to try and get around to seeing more concerts because I feel like it'd be an experience that, that I can really capitalize on and something I won't will never forget. So thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to kind of make this video. Uh, I don't know why it was something that came to my mind that uh, I just wanted to talk about stuff that. For me, my goals for 2020, and then also something I wanted to see, uh, something I wanted to see out of another band in 2020. I'm sure there's other stuff that I uh, that I missed, but these are just the top three things that came to my mind instantly. There's there's other stuff that, you know, if I took time to really sit down and think about it, that it was stuff that I wanted to see and and I want to I want to uh, be a part of, I guess. So. Yeah, I didn't want this video to go on too long. That's why I didn't sit down and think of everything because there'd, there'd be a lot of stuff on the list if I really thought about it. But hopefully this didn't go too long. Um, you guys, let me know in the comments or DM whatever you want to whatever you want to do. Let me know if uh, what your wishes are for 2020 for yourself uh, music-wise or for other bands that you like to see or, or even just in general. It doesn't even have to be music related, just kind of New Year's resolution type things but uh, that you want to that you want to do for 2020. So let me know. I'll be interested to hear in that. Thank you guys for watching. We will have a reaction out today, later today at the normal time, so no worries about that. Um, schedule's going to stay the same. I don't know how many more of these type videos I'll do. Maybe a few. We'll see. Um, uh, but uh, the social media stuff will be in the top left like it is for every other video like comment subscribe I would appreciate it so much thank you guys for watching have a happy new year this video will be going up on the 31st so don't get too crazy tonight you know if you're uh, drinking or whatever make sure you're, you're staying safe and everything so yeah just make sure you know have a good time but be safe so thank you guys again I'll catch you guys later peace out